Hello everyone and welcome. A while back, I did a review of a Foxwell automotive scanner which had a lot of cool features to it. But you guys asked me for a scanner that had more bi-directional controls. Well today, I bring you a scanner that has OE scanning abilities plus a lot more bi-directional controls. This scanner is more compact and lightweight than the Foxwell and runs on the latest Android system. So if you like that Foxwell scanner that I reviewed previously, I think you're really going to like this D7 scanner from Xtool. So let's take a look at this puppy and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you, the D7 scanner. Let's take a look at this guy. Alright, so first of all, this guy comes in a nice hard storage case. Really good for the professional where you're in a shop environment and you want to protect your scanner when you're not working, you put it away overnight, you want to be sure it's taken care of nice and safe. So let's open this puppy up right here and see this is the way everything comes inside nicely stored. Let me pull it all out of here and we'll take a look at it more. All right, guys, so this is the D7 Automotive Scanner from Xtool, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $479. And what do you get when you unbox this puppy? Well, you get the scanner itself, you get the OBD2 cable, and these two go together. You get a USB cable to charge it up, and you get the wall adapter where basically you get the North American and the EU adapter so you can use either one regardless of what part of the world you're in. And like I showed you before, you get a nice hard case to store it all in when you're not using it. Now the dimensions on this unit are very compact. You're looking at 8.5 inches by 6 inches by 3 quarter thickness, 3 quarters of an inch in thickness. The cable length on this for the OBD2 is 5 feet long. And you have a 7 inch capacitive touchscreen with the resolution of 1024 by 600. So it's very good, nice, clear resolution on there. The unit is powered by a quad core 1.6 gigahertz processor running on the latest Android system. So this is basically a tablet that does automotive scanning. You can use it as a tablet also because you can go on the internet, go on the web, browse different websites and stuff like that when you need to. If you're looking up something, instead of having to go to a computer or a different tablet, you can look it all up right here. So it does double duty. It has 32 gigabytes of onboard memory and it has Wi-Fi connectivity for updates and like I said, using it on the web, looking up things that you need, etc. It supports 14 different languages, so regardless of what part of the world you're in or what language you're comfortable with, it can help you. Now this is an all systems OE diagnostic tool that can access and diagnose all available modules on your particular vehicle, including such things as a PCM, ECM, EPS, PDM, TPM, BCM, TPMS, SAS, fuel system, light system, AC system, and more. It can read and clear codes, view live data like transmission fluid temperature, cylinder balance rates, engine RPM, freeze frame, and perform active tests, read ECU info, etc. The scanner also comes with 28 service reset functions, such as your oil reset, EPB reset, SAS calibration, DPF regeneration, TPMS reset, ABS auto bleed, battery registration, throttle reset, injector coating, power balance, IMMO key coating, suspension calibration, transmission adaption, headlights, and so forth. And a lot of these features depend on the vehicle that you own. Not all features will work with every single vehicle out there. If you have any question about this, I suggest that you contact the Amazon seller directly, give them your vehicle information, VIN number, etc. They can look it up and tell you exactly how much it can do for your particular vehicle. This unit also can handle car key programming and it can perform various IMMO functions like programming a new key fob, making a dealer key, add an extra key, remote learning, key matching learning, smart key reading for specific vehicles, etc. This unit comes with a two-year warranty from the manufacturer 
and three years free updates. Now, as far as the updates go, I get a lot of questions about that every time I make one of these videos. And let me just put your mind at ease. The unit will still continue to work and run at its full function after the updates stop. So after the three year period, if you buy this unit after the three years free updates are done, you have a choice. You can either continue to run the unit as it is with the current information inside the unit, or you can pay to keep updating it from then on to get the latest software going forward. So it's your choice. The unit will still function at its full capabilities, even if you don't update it. It's still your unit. The software will continue to run. The unit will continue to work. Nothing stops. You can just keep going on with that latest software that you had in there. You just won't be getting future information updated to the system. But the unit still runs. No need to worry about that. So I hope that puts your mind at ease. So this unit is great for the professional technician, the DIYer, or anyone that wants more control and repair and diagnostic ability over their modern cars. So let's test this puppy out and see how it performs. All right, guys. So here we are looking at the scanner itself. And this is the front screen that you see when you're going to be doing diagnostics. Now, you have a lot of different things you can select on here as far as going backwards, this, that, and the other. And if you hit this button here, this is where it becomes a tablet. And you can select from all the different functions on here, whether it's settings or taking uh, pictures or whatever, videos, storing uh, different files that you may want, going on the internet, all that kind of good stuff. You can handle it through this screen. But if you go back to there, then you're back in the diagnostic function. So there you go. So this is where you would start if you're going to be starting to do some diagnostics. And let me tell you some of the different functions that you have available here. Now, the auto scan and diagnostic, that self-explanatory, basically, where the unit will connect to the vehicle by itself and you don't need to do anything. If it doesn't happen to work with your particular vehicle, you can always input it manually. But the auto scan is just quicker and easier. And here you have more functions here, different settings, the update function there. Uh, here you have the special functions, which are the reset. I'll show you that in a minute. You can have the unit perform a report for you. If uh, you were using this for diagnostic of your vehicle at home, and you wanted to get more information and just, you know, disconnect from the unit for a while. Or if you're a mechanic and you wanted to print it out for a customer, you can have it print out a report of all the problems that you found. And the remote control function is something very convenient where whether you're a professional or a DIYer, if you have a problem, you can't figure out, the unit's giving you trouble, whatever the case may come up, you can connect to Xtool directly and a technician there basically can come on and do remote control of the unit itself and help walk you through different functions of it. So that's something rather useful right there that this unit has that some other units out there may not have. Now let's take a look at the uh, special functions because I know that's something that is of interest to a lot of you guys is all the different resets that this has. You may want to pause the video if you want to see if a reset that you want for your vehicle is included in this unit. I'm just going to scroll through it very slowly so you can get a good look at it. You can see a lot of the different resets there. And then if you scroll up, you can see some more resets. There you go. I'll stop at that screen right there. You can see some of the resets that are available for you right there. And not all resets will be available for all vehicles. Just because the machine has it doesn't mean that your vehicle will have it. So keep that in mind. You have to be sure that your vehicle has it. And then that's the latest one right there. So your vehicle has to be compatible. It has to be able to do this stuff for the machine to be able to communicate with it and allow it to do it. So just because it's here doesn't mean that your vehicle will have this function. For example, I have several vehicles. And if I connect this machine to it, Every vehicle is going to have something different that it can do and other things that it cannot do, as I will show you. So you push the button there, you go back to it, and let's see, let's start doing some diagnostic. I'm not going to do a lot of diagnostic because most of you guys should know how these machines work, but let's take a look at some of the things that it can do. And obviously one of the things as well is that in this small little introduction video, I can't do justice to all the different things that this guy can do. I would have to have hundreds of cars available and spend hours just going through all the different functions that it can do. It is very detailed. And that's one reason that you should read the manual that comes with the unit, and that way you can be very, very familiar familiar as to everything that this unit can do. So let's just do a little bit of digging through it. So I have to put the key in the car and get it started. You're going to hear the annoying buzzer. Sorry about that.
And there you have where you can go through automatic scan, system selection, vehicle information, things like that. Let's do an auto scan. And therefore it goes through and talks to all the different modules in your vehicle. And it, you know, some vehicles will have more, some vehicles will have less. It depends on the vehicle. Some vehicle computers will be very quick. Some of them will be rather slow and sluggish. It's not the fault of the scanner itself. It's just some computers, some ECMs or PCMs are rather slow and sluggish. So this one here is very quick and you can see it went right through it. And these are all the different things that are available for diagnosing in this particular vehicle. So you can either go into each one from here, you can select a different one that you want. As you see, it's normal, no DTCs, no, no trouble whatsoever. So here you can, you know, get a DTC report, clear the DTCs, all that kind of stuff, do further diagnosis, all that sort of stuff right there available for your particular vehicle. Or you can just go back and select something else to do. Now, if you select diagnosis, then basically it tells you what each one is available of doing. And here for this module, you can see that you can get live data, clear trouble codes, read trouble codes, actuation test, read ECU information, all that kind of good stuff. Now I'm not going to do an actuation test of the seatbelts or any of that because it's not something that you'll be able to see or hear. It's something that I would have to see myself here what it's doing. But I will show you some of the different bi-directional controls that I can do a little bit later. And there you can go into a different one. Let's see that one. You can select diagnose and it'll tell you what it can do for that one. And a lot of them may be very, very similar because it's just the same thing for different modules. So you can go through and read each of the different module. It tells you what it can or cannot do. And here is some of the system selection of different things that you can do with this vehicle. Like I said, every vehicle will have a different set of units that you can look into and select different things with it. This one, this is what is available for this particular vehicle. All right, guys, so I have the vehicle with the engine running and stuff like that. Let's see how this guy performs as far as reading some live data. So let's pick some PIDs and let's take a look at some information. So it'll connect to the computer right now and we're going to check and see what it can do. So now you can see on here, this scanner has a ton of information that you can collect when you're looking at live data from your vehicle. And you can see, and I'll just scroll through here, you know, randomly, but there is a lot of information that you can get on here that other scanners won't give you. This is a very advanced scanner with a lot of data. So you can analyze pretty much every system in your vehicle. And you can see over here all the information it gives you, what it relates to, and I know my finger's in the way, but like I said, I, I, I can't spend all day going through everything that this scanner can do because it's just too much information. You wouldn't want to sit through it. It would be like a college lecture sailing through uh, all the information that this guy can do. All right, so let's pick these two data pids right here. You have the rear oxygen fuel trim bank one, rear oxygen fuel trim bank two. Let's take a look at these guys. You can see the information right there. Let's see how it graphs it and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll combine it and let's see. It'll display the graph for you right there and we'll see how that goes. Once it gets going, then you can see the information numerically up here and graphically right there. And let's see, I'm gonna give it some gas and we'll see how this changes. And you see how all the information changes instantly. And it is pretty snappy. It really keeps up with what's going on very, very quickly. So that's actually a very fast scanner right there. And let me go back and pick something else. All right, so let's see right here. Let's look at the short-term fuel trim right there, one and two. I selected those two. You can see it right there numerically. Let's combine them and see how it looks in a graph. And actually, I left the other two in there, so we're getting four data pids in there right now. So you can see all those different things going on right now. So you'll see how things change as one goes up, the other goes down, that kind of thing. And you can see very extensively, you can get a lot of information out of that one graph. And I believe I saw on there that you can select up to five different data pids to do a graphing.
So that gives you a lot of information. Five PIDs is quite a bit of information. All right, let's get out of here. All right, guys, so here we are in my Toyota RAV4, and we're going to go through and do some of the diagnostic work and see some of the things that this scanner can do on this particular vehicle. So you go into the auto scan right there and let it do its thing. Toyota, USA, and let's do an automatic scan. And it goes through and it scans all of the systems that are available to it. And there you have all the different systems over here that you can see that are available to this scanner right now. Every vehicle is going to have different systems available to it. Not every vehicle is going to be identical. So you have to plug this into your vehicle and see exactly all the things you can do. But you can see you have a lot of things that are OE limited right there. A lot of things that other scanners would not be able to do. So let's diagnose some of these things. You got they technically call it diagnosis. We're not going to diagnose because there are no problems. As you can see, there's no DTCs to worry about. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the actuation functions that this scanner can do. So let's diagnose the uh, engine and ECT right there. Okay. And let's see, actuation test. You can go through a lot of different things. You can do freeze frame. There is no freeze frame. See, no freeze frame data. But let's do an actuation test because I know uh, for you guys, if you don't see it, if you don't hear it, it never happened. So I'm going to show you some of the things that this guy can do. So it communicates to the uh, ECM. And these are all the different things that you can control on this particular vehicle. And you see there's quite a bit, quite a long list of different things that you can do on there. Now, some of the things, obviously, I can't show them to you because they are mechanical and I would have to move everything around. I would have to actually be performing uh, testing and stuff like that to show you how it works. So one of the things that I can do right now is turn on the uh, electronic cooling fans and you should be able to hear that go on and off. And you see right there, it is off right now. I'm gonna click it on. And you hear that the fans are already running. And you see right there, turn it off, turn it back on. And you can hear it running and you see it right there that it goes on and off. So that right there is showing you something that is very easy that I can actually demonstrate and you can hear it taking place of bi-directional control. And it has a lot of other ones. This is just a very simple one that I can show you right here so you know it's happening. All right, then you go back. And like I said, there's a lot of other things that you can do, which would be actual diagnosing, which I'm not going to show you because that would be much more complicated to do. So then that gives you some idea of the things that are available for this particular car. And some of the newer vehicles may have more things available. These older vehicles have less things available. So then let's get out of here. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the X-Tool D7 Automotive Scanner. I think this is a very advanced scanner for a very reasonable price. This scanner has OE abilities to be able to access pretty much every module in your vehicle. This will obviously vary from one vehicle to another, but this scanner gives you extensive bi-directional controls, has access to all your vehicle systems, and comes with three years of free software updates. And it's also very compact, lightweight, and easy to use. It also runs on the latest Android system, so you know it's going to be very stable, and it works as a tablet as well. I haven't found any other scanner that has this many features in this price range. If you're looking for an affordable automotive scanner that is very advanced and has many different features, you should look into this unit right here. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.